Here's another way to integrate tangent to the third power x. And for this way, I'm going to show you we are going to just be working with tangent and hopefully secant can come out to help us out. All right, to integrate tangent to a third power, this is the same as integrate tangent x times tangent square x dx. I just break down the third power into the first power times the second power. This way, we can look at tangent square as secant square x minus 1. We really have to have the secant square to come out to help us out. And then let me just show you, this is the same as saying the integral, I will take the tangent x and then distribute it inside. So for the first part, we are going to get tangent x times secant square x. Tangent x times secant square x. And then technically, I can close this because the next one is going to be another integral. So let me put on dx right here to close the first integral. Secondly, we still have to take the tangent x, multiply with negative 1. But that's inside of the integral. So we will subtract the integral of tangent x times 1, which is just tangent x dx. The integral of the difference is the difference of the integrals. And then we can just focus on this one, and then we can focus on this one. That's why I want to break it apart. So for this one, because we have the secant square x to help us out, what can we do? U substitutions. So right here, I will just say that u equals to tangent x, and of course, du will be secant square x dx. So for this integral, it's just going to be tangent x, it's the same as my u right here, and then if you look at this part, secant square x dx, that matches exactly the du. So we just need to integrate u du. This is the same as that, which is the same as du. So to integrate u in the u world, it's just going to be 1 half u to the second power. And then u is what? Tangent x. So in another word, we have 1 half tangent square x. And that will finish the first integral. And I'm not going to put a I'm not going to put on a plus C yet because we're not done. So for the first integral, that's the answer. 1 half tangent square x. How about the second? This is something that you should remember. So let me just put on the minus first. And then the integral of tangent x is ln absolute value of secant x. And then we are done. Plus C. And this is it.